Well, hello and welcome to COP2800 Java Programming Online. I'm Colin Archibald. I'll be your instructor for this online class this semester. And if you can't hear me, I'll wave my cursor under here. Turn on your speakers. There is sound. And if you did hear me, then there is no point in doing that. Okay, so I intend to give you um, kind of a guideline for the class, how to find things, how to submit assignments and things like that. Looking, We'll have a look at the syllabus. So let's jump in. We're going to use Blackboard this semester. So I, there's lots of ways to get into Blackboard. One way is to go to the Valencia homepage and then under Quick Links choose Online Courses and that will take you to this page that gets you to the login page. So in Blackboard you log in using your Atlas username and password. And when you get in here you should see on the right a list of classes that you're registered in and one of them had better be Java programming. If it's not, then you're not registered in this class. And when you get in here um, let's. This would look more like how you would see it. Um, these are the tools that we'll use. I try to keep it as uncluttered as possible. So under announcements, things that I want to stay up there for a long time, including my office hours for the semester, I'm going to try to use this. Um, orientation video for more than one semester. So uh, look at your syllabus for your semester. If it is not January of 2014, I might be reusing this and the office hours might be different for the summer semester or the fall semester of 2014. So announcements, the syllabus, this document is kind of like the contract between you and me for the course and it will be there the whole semester. If anything changes in the syllabus, I'll send you an email. You can see your grades as you go along under the My Grades tab. I don't have grades. Blackboard email is how um, I prefer us to communicate. So communicating among yourselves um, with your classmates you don't have to exchange email addresses because everyone is, who is in the class, you can send them an email if you know their name. If you get in real trouble, you can just send everybody an email saying, help, I, I want to find out what's going on here. So if you use um, Blackboard email and send me an email, an email um, it's helpful because I know what class you're in and I know what the assignments are that are current in this class. It's just a lot easier for me to understand what you're saying if you use this email system. So the Assignments tab is where I'm going to deliver things that you have to do. And look, there's already an assignment here for you. And this is the no-show assignment, the famous no-show issue. We'll talk about that a little more when we look in the syllabus. The student assessment of instruction. There will be something under there, I assume, towards the end of semester and you'll get emails in Atlas describing, um, going, asking you to go and do that survey of the, of the instruction. So let's go back to the syllabus and have a look at the rules. So, um, if it is not spring of 2014 when you're watching this video, you will have a syllabus that is almost the same as this, but the dates will be different. So here's my contact information. And again, use Blackboard email um, because it's easier. The student engagement hours, usually called office hours, those are posted in Blackboard. The course description the outcomes of the course, and if you understood the outcomes of the course, um, you probably wouldn't need to take the class, but you can go through that list of things which are the intended reasons for taking this class. 
So there is a required textbook, and this is a really good book. It's used by um, most colleges and universities in Florida now for teaching Java. It's a little bit expensive. You can find a used copy of it. And uh, this is something that I've been doing for the last couple of years in online classes. There's, there's good things and bad things about online classes. The good thing is you don't have to come to class, and the bad thing is it's difficult to communicate. So I'm requiring, not, not recommending, I'm requiring that everyone have a Skype account, which is free. There are paid options for it, but you don't need them. A free Skype account and a webcam. So if I say I want to have a meeting with you face-to-face -face in Skype, um, you can't say, well, I don't have a webcam or a Skype account. These are required for this class. And we're going to learn Java, and we're going to use Eclipse and Oracle's Java 1.6 or later. The current version is 1.7 point something or other. You do not have an option to use another development environment other than Eclipse. Learning Eclipse is part of the requirement for this class. And the way that I deliver material, other than saying read parts of the book, is to create videos like this one. And I have been putting them on the faculty server at Valencia, and that's working somewhat less well than I would like. So. Um, YouTube is the preferred way of doing this, and if you go over to the playlist of the videos on YouTube, here they all are. So in the assignments, I'm going to say you must go through these videos, and um, that's part of the assignment. That's a nice picture of Hawaii, isn't it? So it's, it's a good idea to take notes. So do this class as if you were in a classroom. And um, you have to remember things from January that will be on the exam in the, the end of April. And if you don't have any notes, if you just have um, nothing, there's nothing to review, and there's nothing to go back over. And so I encourage you, even though it's old-fashioned, organize your work somehow. Um, pa paper works, paper still works, even in 2014 paper is still a, a useful tool. So this is how I'm going to decide your grade for the class. Um, there will be one midterm test. It will be in person in the testing center, closed book and on paper. A bunch of programming assignments. If you submit your programming assignments late, you will get a penalty. The first and last assignment cannot be submitted late. So the first one is because of the no-show rule, and the last one is because it comes right up against the end of semester. Submitting an assignment after the course is over is, is not really helpful. Okay, so the no-show date for January of 2014, the date is January 14th. So your assignment one must be submitted by that date. The dates for the final exam are already set. Don't ever ask me, when is the final exam? In the testing centers, on those dates, any of those dates. And so here's how I'm going to weight each part of the course. The assignments are worth 45% of your grade. A total of 50% are these closed book on paper assessments. So you have to know what's going on in the assignments in order to be able to reproduce those skills on uh, a piece of paper in a testing center, in a proctored environment. If you are not in Orlando, there are some people taking this course from around the state and even from other states. Um, we need to make arrangements for you to go to a testing center and you find the testing center, send me the contact information, and I will send the test 
to um, a recognized testing center. There's a bunch of people from um, Edison College mm -hmm. and whatever it's called now in Palm Beach, and that's the situation for them. If you're in Orlando and you're a Valencia student, you can go to any of the Valencia testing centers for these um, proctored tests. And in the usual Valencia way, this is how I'll decide your grade, combining all of these. So, for an online class, what does attendance mean? It means that you show up in Blackboard and you do your work, and when you're stuck, you tell people that you're stuck. And it's... Um, eight hours of work per week. Make a time budget so that you know that you have eight hours of work per week for this class. That no-show rule keeps coming up because it's it's a very serious rule to withdraw someone from a class right at the beginning. Um, if, if you're withdrawn, you are personally liable for the tuition and cannot get back into the class. <coughs> The little dog here agrees with me. If you want to withdraw from the class and have a W on your transcript when you're going to bail out from the class, you can do that yourself in Atlas. I hope no one does. Tell me if you're going to do that. Maybe you're only a few hours behind, even though you feel like you're helplessly behind. Um, don't exchange code with other people in the class. If you pass in the same code, both of you are going to have broken the academic honesty policy. Even if one of you did the work and the other one just passed that in, um, both of you uh, are held responsible for that. Well, that dog is um, participating more than I would have liked, but that's okay. So, important dates. So spring semester of 2014, your study break, this is the interesting one, is March 3rd through 9th, and I try not to give um, extra assignments for study break. You might refer to that as March break or spring break, and uh, you can also study during those days. Sense of humor? Good. Um, if you have a disability that you want me to accommodate, um, there are official ways of doing that through the Office for Students with Disabilities. If you get into some trouble, personal trouble, stress, anxiety, depression, all of these things, it happens with a large number of students, somebody will get into some issue that they feel like they can't get out of. The college provides at no charge to the students a service, uh, a student assistance program through this Baycare company, and use that if you if you overextend yourself and you break your rubber band or whatever it is you're running on. So this Liang textbook is really um, well organized and we're going to follow it fairly closely. I don't know that we're going to do exceptions in this class. We are certainly going to do interfaces but right around here it's, it's unknown if we get to that last topic or not. So this is your syllabus for the class, and let's go back into Blackboard for a second. Um, that's YouTube. Okay, here we are in Blackboard again. Um, assignments. Let me show you, in case you haven't done this in um, Blackboard before, click on the name of the assignment. The due date for the assignment will always be there. You have to click on the name of the assignment to find it. And then the way I want you to do this is to open the, save the assignment document on your local machine, put your answers in it, and then submit the same document back to me. So all of the stuff that you have to do for assignment one, 
It looks like there's a lot, but most of this is a review from programming concepts. You'll, you will recognize those things. Down at the bottom there are deliverables. What do you have to do? Go into Blackboard and introduce yourself on the discussion board. Um, put something under, under checkpoint 1. Submit this document with all of your answers in it. Okay, let's go back to Blackboard. Attach file and then the submit button. So save a copy of the file on your local machine, put your stuff in it. When you're ready, you come back to the same place and you submit it. You can only submit one time. So if you send me the wrong file, it causes a lot of problems. If that happens, send me an email right away and hopefully it won't happen very much because it's kind of a pain. So you can submit your assignment one time and you do it by attaching a file. Attach only one file per assignment and the other dog agrees as well. One, one file. Don't zip up anything. Um, I won't open a zip file. So that's how you find your assignment and how you submit your assignments the rules of the syllabus. The discussion board has been acting funny. I hope that by the time you find the class it's working better. Ah, well, it, it just took a long time it, it act here. So, go in here and um, introduce yourself on the discussion board and when you get to the checkpoints in the assignments go here and tell us um, about the that you've reached the checkpoint. If you have questions about the assignments, post them here to the whole class or send me an email or contact the tutors and I'll show you once we have that established how to do that. Um, so the discussion board is the way of communicating with the whole class and Blackboard email with individuals. Don't exchange code with each other exchange explanations all the time, but if you exchange code then you're going to risk the um, two people passing in the same assignment and that, that uh, prevents you from learning what you need to learn to do okay on the midterm and the final. So the learning happens when you're figuring out how to solve the problems in the assignment and the assessment happens when you demonstrate on the midterm and the final that you have achieved those those competencies. Learning Java is fun. Java is a very solid language, the most popular popular language in the world, arguably. I believe it's still the leader. Um, you make constant progress in Java. It doesn't trip you up. Connect with me on Skype. So here's my Skype ID. And you can do that right away. Um, very commonly students will say, I can't figure out what's going on in the assignment. My computer's going all crazy. Well, I can't help with that. But if you show me your screen in a Skype conversation, this is... Um, the most effective kind of communication that we have. So it isn't that I need to see you, I, I need to see your screen. And it's really easy to do screen sharing in, uh, in Skype. Okay, start right away. There's an assignment there, there's stuff to do. Um, contact me if you get stuck on something. It's not that hard to get unstuck. I'm looking forward to a good semester.